Nikolai Mashukov and Masha Bersan Mashuk are two Russian artists who came to Slovenia more than two decades ago. As fate would have it, they settled and sprouted new roots here. Now, their creations enrich Slovenian art, including numerous sacral buildings. The void is still here, with only your gaze singing its anthem of love. Your gaze is a seed giving birth to thousands of sons. The author of these verses, Nikolai Mashuko, and his wife, Masha Bersan Mashuk, have taken their mutual love far beyond their homeland. More than 20 years ago, they moved from Russia to their Kreche in the Gorinska region. That's what they affectionately call the village where they have found their new home. Nikolai Mashuko, an academically trained sculptor, painter and writer, has been studying the Logos for the past 30 years and had developed an integrated visual approach for his exploration. His dream creatures use philosophy, mythology and even metaphysics to comment on the inner world of humans and the universe. He is creating a project that he has titled The Four Shadows of a Ship. So far, he has finished the first three parts, fellow travelers, Pasio and Chaos. He's just beginning the fourth part, entitled The Travels of Amateurs. When I started this I when I began working on the project, I never imagined it being so comprehensive. Now, years later, I see that it's only beginning to open up new doors for me. I've just skimmed the surface. The topic is so deep that you could work on it for a hundred years without ever reaching the bottom. Masha Bersan Mashuk, an academically trained painter, says that she dislikes modern art because she wants to create for other people, not for herself. She pays tribute to the greatness of classical art through her paintings, as well as through her sacred wall and ceiling murals, which she is commissioned to create. She is one of only a handful of people in Slovenia who can tackle large-scale complex murals, since they require a considerable amount of physical exertion and a specific approach to work. Kolka, he doesn't paint the way I do. He first imagines something and then develops a composition. But I just see a ceiling or a wall, and that surface commands me. I need to feel it, and then I paint what I feel, without any plan. And that is the joy of the process. The couple tackle numerous commissions together, so far, they have decorated 150 chapels and 10 churches in Slovenia. The largest church mural measured 140 square meters. They always divide up their work. Nikolai tackles the walls, while Masha takes on the ceilings. Working together is hard. Each artist has their own vision. I see things a bit differently. It means a lot to me that Kolka is an artist, because no one else could live this kind of life. When I'm working on something, everything else ceases to exist for me. The two have decorated their home with imaginative details. Nikolai made most of the furnishings, including a fence with statues, imposing mirror frames, a wood-burned furnace, and even a fireplace. Here in Ljubno, I'm surrounded by friendly and pleasant people, as well as by many friends, so I feel like I'm at home. 
When I was given an article about us, I was so happy and surprised to see how it describes our entire Slovenian journey in one single sentence. And I'll use my best Slovenian to read it. By moving to Slovenia, they came home. The two artists have already left a mark on Slovenia with their openness towards other people. And they have enriched the Slovenian art world with their wonderful poetics.